watch this video about formative and summative assessment. There are two assessment categories, formative assessment and summative assessment. The goal of formative assessment is to gather information that helps a teacher guide the improvement of teaching and learning. These assessments should be designed to provide immediate, explicit feedback. These are typically low-stake assessments or checking for understanding. There are several ways a teacher might implement formative assessment in the classroom. Some examples of formative assessment might include quizzes, classwork, or homework, or any activity that checks for understanding. An example, a quick write summary questions, a concept map, teacher observation of student work, journal entries, choral response, a think-pair-share activity, turn to your partner for discussion, a KWL chart, a Socratic seminar, or an exit slip. From formative assessment data, a teacher will make immediate instructional decisions. For example, after using a formative assessment, a teacher may realize that his or her students did not understand specific content that he or she presented in class. From this data, he or she might provide a reteaching opportunity for this content or restructure parts of the upcoming unit to include additional review for material students have not mastered. The next type of assessment is a summative assessment. The goal of a summative assessment is to measure the level of success or proficiency that has been obtained at the end of an instructional unit or a defined segment of time by comparing it against standards or benchmarks. These can be used to measure student growth in a specific content area at a point in time. They are typically higher stakes assessments. Examples of summative assessment might include an end of unit test, project, or essay a district benchmark assessment or exam, an end of term or semester exam or a final exam, and various state exams or tests. Summative assessment data can be used in a variety of ways. Outcomes of summative assessment can be used formatively by a teacher or by a teacher to determine if the strategies implemented to teach course content were in fact effective. These results might cause a teacher to restructure unit plans or adjust teaching strategies in the future. Next, summative assessment data may be used as accountability for the state. Districts may use summative assessment data to restructure program offerings. For example, from an English language proficiency test, a district may discover that they have more students that are at an emerging level in English language proficiency. Therefore, they will adjust funding to offer additional courses of English language development or offer pullout for English language learners. Review the Venn diagram for formative and summative assessment below to gain additional ideas.